And welcome back with us right now is Buddy Carpenter from Third Mutual Board. Nice to see you, Bunny. Thank you. Great to have you here today. And uh, you're going to talk about first the uh, board members, the directors. There's, there was a new director that was appointed at, I think, your last meeting, right? Right. Yeah, Susan mm -hmm. Kane. Yes, uh, uh, she was, we're, we're really happy to have her. Um, she was born in the East Coast and followed her son out here. And she's been living in the village for about seven years mm -hmm. and finally decided that uh, she wanted to c contribute to her community. So um, she has an education ex uh, background. Um, she has other skills also, but the education is the main background. Mm -hmm and we're just very happy to have her. Very good, but you were also seeking another board member, and as I said, uh, I was announcing that people could get their applications in. That part is over, and you have uh, three folks that are looking to be appointed to the board, and that will happen at your uh, next, actually an open board meeting tomorrow, that special open board meeting, yes. Yes, yes, yes. and um, I will have to say I'm very excited that the board is continually attracting people with good business backgrounds and which is so very important to mm -hmm. be able to right. run this community but <clears throat> we have three candidates and um, it is an open board meeting and it'll be held tomorrow mm -hmm. at 1230 in the Sycamore room and the three candidates are um, uh, Sharon Voss Jules Zalon and Martin Lapata, and uh, the Sharon she has a is a newcomer to the village, and um, and she has a great background in education, engineering, and planning. Jules is a lawyer, and has a private practice, and he's been working as an advisor uh, to the MNC. Martin, very good, is a retired entrepreneur. entrepreneur and has been involved in 20 different businesses. He, ha he also has an extensive real estate background. So the decision is gonna be difficult. Yes, and we wanna remind folks this is an open meeting. It is listed as a special open meeting. And this will be tomorrow, February 14th, in the Sycamore Room, not in the main boardroom, but because they're remodeling the boardroom. Right. Uh, but it'll be at uh, 1230. The Sycamore Room is on the second floor. Right. up here. It's not a big room, so if you want to participate, uh, get there a little bit early, right? It might be standing room only. It might be, <laughs> right. So now you want to move on to talking about residency policy and compliance task force. Right. Um, I'm on that committee, <clears throat> and uh, it's really quite involved, and so I just wanted to basically give an update on the a rental application. So I think I've spoke about this before that the short-term rentals, less than 60 days, has really created a lot of problems, you know, for the community. So um, the update on this is that violators will be fined and are subject to their benefits being suspended. So we are now, if they haven't been sent out this week, but they'll be sent out very soon, the notifications to the members of their fine. Um, this hasn't been done because of the um, transition to the, the AX system. And so we're, now we're ready and we're getting, out, we're getting out the letters and if they aren't paid within a certain time, the benefits will be suspended. And according to Third's bylaws, a member may be restricted of the rights to use any facility up to 90 days for each breach. So I just want to say it's all about feeling safe in our community. And when you see strangers coming in and out, you don't know it's very alarming to our residents. Right. And uh, this is something I know that you folks have looked at for a while. and. Uh, so is United as well? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Now you're a yes. little different, obviously, because you're condos, but still, right. I know you folks are going to be looking at it a little more closely, uh, the short-term rounds we should talk about, Right. really. Right. Now we're going to move on to the third solar project, and I see it's estimated to be completed by July of this year? 
Well, we've had a little hitch. Okay. And the hitch is transformers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has come to, to, we've become aware that we have to replace two transformers. And we're in the process of doing that. And, uh, and then the estimate is that we should be up and running by July. Okay, now will this make it in time for the, the net metering, the current net metering? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, right. We predict that. Okay. <laughs> but who knows, you know? I mean, but really, we, based upon the information, Bill Welch has done a wonderful job in mm -hmm. overseeing this project and updates the boards all the time on what's happening. And the recent email was that we will be able to make the NEMO one. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's good. And for people yes. who don't quite understand that, that under SCE, their current net metering program uh, will end uh, uh, right around the end of June, I think. I'm not quite sure. June, July, uh, yeah. it, There'll be another one there, but it won't be nearly as beneficial as the one is right now. So right. that's, that's why you want to get on board. Against. Right. Also, your new resident orientation, it's going to be held uh, Wednesday mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock in the Spruce Room, right? Yes, um, we've sort of been doing a trial to have some of the orientation meetings in the evening and it's a very, has become a successful, it mm -hmm. is successful. Uh, they had a large draw the last time. So um, we've been happy with the change. It's basically alternate, you know, from having it, you know, during the day and in the evening. And there is talk of uh, possibly having a tour like on Saturday for those. Who okay. Quit. And the reason is because we, the community is drawing more and more young people mm -hmm. that are still working. But again, I want to say, you know, that it's going to be held in the Spruce Room at 6 o'clock on Wednesday on February 15th. All right. And okay. finally, soil mo moisture sensors. Yes, uh, it's taken us a while to get this contract going, um, but uh, with the rainy season, we did find out we didn't have to be in such a rush. But these soil sensors uh, pilot will be um, will be installed in certain areas, and it basically mo measures the moisture so that we can determine our uh, watering. Okay. You know, pattern. And it'll be compared to the current system that we now have. And uh, we're testing it to see if we can save more money on water. Very good. Okay. Sounds like a great program. Thank you very much for the update. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Not that I can think of right now. All right. We appreciate you coming on. And once again, thirds, uh, the special meeting will be held. This is to appoint a new board director on February 14th, that is tomorrow, at 12.30 in the Sycamore Room. And please keep in mind that the regular board meetings are now being held at City Hall. Right. And uh, that, of course, will be next week, the 21st, and that's because they're remodeling the one downstairs. Right. All right, good to see you. Thank you very much. All right, we'll be right back.